Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you like the content, the subscribe button, leave a like down below. With that out of the way, I wanted to talk about these rumors about the Nintendo Switch 2 or the Switchy Switch or the Switch U or the Switch Dual Screen or the Super Switch or the Switch 64, whatever it's going to be called. It sounds like it's going to be comparable in power to the PS5 and Xbox Series X if the rumors are true. So why am I talking about this on a wrestling channel? Well, there's another rumor going around that Nintendo wants developers, if they want their game to hit launch window, that they want their games ready by March 24th of next year, or March, the end of March. And if that's the case, the new Nintendo Switch would launch pretty close to WWE 2K24, if I'm not mistaken, right? So we might get 2K24 as a launch title, a wrestling game. I think it's the first time ever a wrestling game would be launched or be a launch title for a new system. And to me, that's awesome if that is the case. Now, who knows? Maybe they didn't have enough time to port it to the Switch or whatever the heck it's going to be called, Switch 2. Uh, maybe Nintendo has some weird gimmick where they need another year to figure it out for the 2K25. But if it's comparable and similar to the PS5 and Xbox Series X, I don't see why they couldn't get 2K24 as a launch title on the new Nintendo platform. That would be awesome, especially if the new Nintendo platform is a hybrid, because then we can finally get that full-featured wrestling game, assuming they don't compromise anything, on a portable system. Because right now, currently, even the Steam Deck, unless you install Windows or do some tech voodoo, because I don't know, <laughs> I'm not a tech guy, uh, you can't play it natively off of the Steam Deck versus, you know, off, uh, the what do you call it, the Steam version. You can't play the Steam version of WWE 2K22 or 23 on the Steam Deck, which really sucks because I think it's mostly Windows based. And it has something to do with its online check-in system or the the online the 2k servers it just doesn't work with the steam decks operating system i mean i've seen people play it on the steam deck uh, like you can either install windows which i'm not doing or you, you have to do something to get it to work right and i just want to install the game and play it right i don't want to jump through hoops or do any crap like that yell at me in comments if you think i'm lazy but i just think a native created for the ground up wrestling game for a Nintendo platform that hasn't had the mainline wrestling games, I don't think, since the Wii. I think 2K, was it 2K12? No, no, WWE, I want to say WWE 12 or 13 was on the Wii. I don't remember. But it's been a long time since a mainline wrestling game without any compromises came to a Nintendo platform. So, and that's another thing. If it did launch around WrestleMania and it launched as a launch title for the new Nintendo's platform, that would get me to buy it day one. Right now, I'm kind of on the fence about the new Nintendo system because I don't know if it's going to have backwards compatibility. And that's a huge thing for me, especially with everybody building these huge digital libraries. After the PS3 and 360 generation, I told myself, any of these platforms do not have backwards compatibility out of the gate then I'm done with that I'm done with that platform system so so far so good PS4 is compatible with PS5 the Xbox went the extra mile and got some 360 games and original Xbox games to work on the current gen Xbox they kind of had to because they didn't really have any games until recently Starfield is super fun it's a reason why I haven't had hardly any content on the channel. I keep, I'm like, I'll play it for a little bit. And then the day's gone. I'm like, crap, I ran out of time. <laughs> I can't make any videos. So there is that. So the whole point of this video is that we could possibly get 2K24 as a launch title for the Nintendo Switch 2. And to me, that is really, really cool and a major selling point, regardless of if it has backwards compatibility or not. Because one of the coolest, the, one of the things I like to do most in these wrestling games is make characters. So having a portable 2K24 while we wait for Ultra Pro Wrestling 
and their character creator, which I hope is good. It sounds like it's going to be on paper, but until we get the final product, we won't really know. Where I can sit there and I can just watch TV, make characters, I can go to work, make characters on my breaks, uh, and go to the DMV, work on characters. I can always constantly work on these characters and then upload them and then download them on, let's say I want to play the PS5 version or the other or some other version, I can do it that way. Because the so far the the uh, community creations is cross-platform, which I think was one of the best decisions they've made, <laughs> because that opens up the pool of possible characters, and it allows us on console to get some of those cool mods that the PC guys do, and that's really, really awesome. So I'm super excited about this. I don't, I didn't hear anything. I don't know. I didn't have any behind-the-scenes information. This is just me thinking outside the box. Like, who knows if 2K can get it done? Because they are dropping, if I'm not mistaken. They are dropping the PS4 and the original Xbox next gen so they could focus on bringing us the top quality next gen only wrestling game for 2K24. And if that's the case, I think that would be the only thing that would prevent it from coming to the new Switch hardware because who knows how long the dev kits have been out there and who got them. I think 2K would be probably one of the first ones to get one because they are a huge company. But I don't know if that short time frame was enough time to get the 2K24 on the new Nintendo at launch. I think that would be freaking awesome. If it does come to the Nintendo platform, it might come later in the year, like around Christmas time or something. It all depends on how that Nintendo Switch uh, hardware is. So if it's, let's say it's, if it's weaker or different too much in any way, then obviously the 2K24 game will not make launch window. But if it's very, very similar and easy to port the game over to the, to the Switch 2 or Switchy or Switch or whatever it's called, then I don't see why they couldn't do it. And if they can get the mainline series on Nintendo platforms, that'll increase sales and revenue of the game even more, which would give them more money to make a secondary wrestling game. Who knows? The more I think about this as I'm making this video, maybe because there's a rumor going around they're working on a secondary wrestling game that's not the mainline one, that's more arcadey, and I think they were making it to combat AEW, right? But AEW kind of flopped and here we are. But maybe that other wrestling game is going to be a Switch exclusive and a launch exclusive. That would be pretty cool. I mean, I would prefer it be on everything. But how cool would it be if it was a that was the launch Nintendo Switch wrestling game? I mean, 2K24 would be awesome too. But it'd be really cool if they made it all original from the ground up, arcade style, old school wrestling game, or in the vein of All Stars, or Here Comes the Pain, for that Nintendo Switch 2 launch window. That sounds awesome to me. And that just I just made myself super excited for that. <laughs> Who knows? So how do you feel about this? Are you excited for the Switch 2's possibility of getting a launch title as a wrestling game? How cool would that be? Or a wrestling game as a launch title? That'd be awesome. I can't even think straight after saying that. And could they possibly get that rumored arcade style old school wrestling game that they're working on the side to also be in the launch window? The future looks bright for wrestling games. I really hope that Nintendo Switch 2 has a wrestling game at launch because that would really, really make me want to buy it. Um, having that portable option just sounds awesome to me. Anyway, thank you for watching. Sound off in the comments below and stay frosty.